Hello ladies and gentlemen, back again, and I know it hasn't been like three to five weeks between parts this time, it's been almost instantaneous. So it might as well be magic for me, but hey ho, this is awesome. So yeah, let's get on. We're gonna do exactly what I said in the last part. We found that gold sculpture in the tree. I was incredibly happy about that, you have no idea how happy. I needed to take a break and change pants because of it, but yeah. We're getting back in there, we're going inside this great big fish, we're going to catch the rest of the gold sculptures in this Zora area, as best as I'm aware, anyway, there's probably more of the fuckers. I, I said in the last part, the walker I'm using is kind of... should have been using it as I played through the game, to be honest. Maybe that would have been smart, but it kind of wrecks the immersion a bit. Now I'm at the end of the game, I like to go back, reflect, take stock of what I've been doing with my life and all the mistakes I've made, and correct them manually by looking up all the different bits I've missed and going and grabbing them. At least it's not like that Silent Hill playthrough where I missed the fucking sniper rifle and just, yep, yeah, well, you've had your lot, that was it. Yep, yeah, thankfully this is not that. So, after meeting Ruto and falling down below, you'll pick her up and bring her to a room with a floor switch. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that, but we'll let this humor the walkthrough. Shoot at Scorcher on the sidewall and climb up and get that. I've got that one. No problem. So after falling down a little floor, for a second time, you find two sculptures on the wall. I did it again! I've got to avoid clicking, because I'm full screen. If I click on something else, it clicks me out of that, and it just fucks up everything. God damn it, Grey. Resist the urge. You're a professional. Act like it. So, we've got that. Gold sculpture 32. Not a problem. Pause. Don't want to get slaughtered. Right, falling down lower floor for a second time. Fine, yeah, 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 yeah. Defeat there, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So it's the same as the other one, isn't it? Yep. Gold Sculpture 34. The final room for the boss. There's a Gold Sculpture on the vines. Defeat it, grab the token. Well, I've done that. I've got all of those. Oh, fuck. Oh. Well, wank. Just wank to you. Yeah, I've got it. Should have checked the second I got in. A curse on your household. I hope you disintegrate after all, Lord Jabu Jabu. Fucking wasting my time. God, that fucking jellyfish was like a goalie trying to keep me out. He swerved that way. Little shitbag. Right, Zora's Fountain. So, at Zora's Fountain, stand on the log just south of Lord Jabu Jabu. At night time, there'll be a sculpture crawling around the wall. Toss your boomerang at it to defeat it and collect the token. That sounds like fun. I can definitely do that. I'm a competent gamer. Once. Maybe. By luck. There's the motherfucker. I see you. Yeah, he's just crawling around the wall. He's just sitting there. He's not doing fuck all. Right. And now we collect the corpse. I think I am getting a bit psychopathic as I'm getting older, to be honest. As long as I remember the Witcher motto, as the hair starts to go white, just only works for coin. And I'll be fine, you know. And then remember to beat up bards as I go. I play in enough bands, I've got plenty of excuse to get to hit bards as soon as we all start practicing again. And they're all out of shape because it's been a long lockdown, they can't play properly. I'll get my fill then, I'm sure. Right, here we go. Oh, I won't, because I'm nice. Once. So yeah, we'll see. Right, inside the deck retreat. Mate, I done that shit. Yep, 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 yep. Burn the spider web. Blah, blah, blah. You find that. Mate, I got that motherfucker. It's all good. Long on ranch. Pretty sure I got that fucker too. I'm just going to long on ranch at night time. You win. And I love how much I know this game that I'm able to move about without actually looking at it. Like, I know it well enough. It's not that impressive, to be honest. Not exactly a massive landscape, but you know. I was impressed enough to point it out. You can clap or not. I leave it up to you. So yeah, Long Long Ranch, you're fine. Ignore that, I've done that one. Number 38, Long Long Ranch at night time. Make your way to the southwest side of the map. Higher up on the edge, you'll find... Uh, Apparently he's on the wall over there. I'll leave him for now and I'll bear it in mind for the future. So, Hyrule Field. Need the boomerang and Din's motherfucking fire. Right, entrance to Gerudu Valley. Cool, Circle of Rocks. The... Shard? Oh, I thought it's a stand of agony. I thought, mate, are we about to go JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Because I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, drop a bomb. Blast open a hole. 
Reveal an underground grotto. Alright, that will be my lair to take over Hyrule from now on. When Link becomes psychopathic, I get the feeling I'll get there myself as well. So we'll just share the dream and conquer it. Fuck it. But with Ganondorf defeated, there'll be a great big power vacuum. Might as well fill the void. Fuck Zelda, right? She did nothing. So, use Din's fire, burn the spider web, you'll find a cow. Behind the cow, near the top, is a gold sculpture there. Use the boomerang, retrieve the token. That sounds delightful, to be honest. And that one in the Gerudu Valley, I got in. That is all fine, not a problem there. There's one I might have missed in Lake Hillier, but we shall soon see. One step at a time, Gray. Focus on the ones in front of you, don't get carried away. Right, so yeah, it's just in the middle of some stones near Gerudu Valley. Yeah, well, how are you all doing while we're wandering about? Anyway, you guys know me. I don't like doing all the editing too much if I can avoid it. I'd rather chat. It's hard to do it one way to a camera, but, you know, narcissistic enough I can give it a go. So how are you all doing? That, what's that? You want to know how I'm doing? How nice of you. No. Just, yeah, I hope you've all been alright. I really do. It has been a rough fucking year for everyone. Everyone, more or less anywhere in the world, it has just been unbelievable. It has been like someone's playing fucking Jumanji, or Zathera, if that's your poison, whatever. Same problem. It's just a shame we haven't had Robin Williams pop up and go, What year is it? You know, at any point. That would have made it all worth it, I think. Or possibly. I don't know. A lot of people have been hit a lot harder than I have, me and my family, and we, you know, it's been a struggle, for sure. It's been really weird. But yeah, again, I mean it, all sincerity, I hope you're all doing well. And you're about to be doing a lot better, because we're about to get ourselves another gold sculpture. And that is a time to rejoice, I think, regardless of what else is going on in the world. For sure. Here we go. Should have got those bombs, really. But I didn't feel like it. It would have involved walking, like, three more feet. It's not worth it. Right, okay, so. That's the fucking cow. There you are, I see you. Moo to you too, motherfucker. Alright. Calm the fuck down. I'm gonna kill on the spider. How the fuck does a cow get down here anyway? Did he bomb it and then just forget to leave for like a hundred years? It's an immortal cow! In which case, you better stay down here. Hyrule is not ready to discover your true powers, mate. You stay here, you stay hidden. What the fuck are you doing, mate? That stone was doing weird shit over there. And you're doing absolutely fuck all over there, so that's where you can stay. Right, Grudu Valley. Let's check to be sure I haven't got this one. I'm 100% certain that I have. But I'm also an idiot, so odds are good. Might not have. We'll see. We're going to Grudu Valley. Turn it to night time. I gotta turn it to night time for the one in Lake Hillier. I'm, you know, gotta go check anyway. I've probably got that one too. But it pays to be thorough. Alright, here we go then. Night time, motherfuckers. Here we go. This one here. I'm sure if there's someone, any one of you, who's been following along, you can tell me, no, nope, you got that one. Don't be a moron, stop wasting our time. But, you know, just happy to be playing the game. I'm happy to drag it out as long as it needs to without being excessive and actually doing something crazy. Like looking for the gold sculptures myself, because that would be mental. Here we go. Grab the cuckoo. I don't know why, I just want to check this box over here. For some reason. Pretty fucking certain I got it. It was a piece of heart, wasn't it? See, and I'm looking at myself with all the hearts, and I'm still going over here. Yeah. It's fine. I hope that one rupee was worth the ten seconds of my life I won't get back. Then it's been a whole year of it with the lockdown, so, you know. Well, again, coronavirus situation hasn't actually technically... Been a lockdown the whole time, but whatever. So yeah, 10 seconds isn't much to worry about in the grand scheme of things. Maybe I'll feel different when I hit 30 in January, eh? Who knows? Start panicking then. Like my body clock is ticking, and holy shit, I haven't got you yet. Yeah. Aww, Link. Stand fucking still. Stop pointing in different directions. You know you don't want to do that. Don't piss me off. There we go. We got it. Awesome. That was well worth it. So, next, Hyrule Field. Need a boomerang. Well, we've got the boomerang. It's fine. 
right near the entrance to Kakariko, so we go all the fucking way around again. I'm amazed there's any of Link left to fight with, to be honest. With the amount of fucking jogging he's doing, I'm surprised. Like, I've never seen him eat, you know what I mean? He must have secretly been very fat under that tunic at the start of the game to have enough energy stores to be able to keep going for this long. Because he never eats. Like, unless that Lon Lon milk counts. I don't think it does. Seven-year-old Lon Lon milk. It's not enough to sustain a growing boy. Especially not when he drinks it as an adult, but now I'm getting confused with time travel shit. Let's not do that. Yeah, whatever. He's doing fine on it at any rate, so let's just keep fucking going and go find it. So right near the entrance to Kakariko Village, just north of the small bridge that is between Hyrule Castle Town and Kakariko, you'll find a tree. The Shard of Agony... Just sounds horrific, doesn't it? Fuck me, look at you! Just paint the fucker blue, give him some spiky hair and get it over with. My god. He's the fastest thing alive. Yeah, I've got that song in my head. I need to fucking learn that one at some point. Alright, anyway. That was a bit of a tangent. I'm just happy to be playing video games again. It's been about four weeks, I think. Four or five since I've played one at all, I think. I'm really losing track. But yeah, it's just been mental. Mentally hectic. So yeah, I'm just so happy to be playing and connecting with actually relaxing again. That just, yeah, my brain is going places. Just like, maybe you should watch that. That was a thing. That was a cool show. Another part of me is going, yeah, great. And then another much louder part, the one in charge with the mouth, is saying, what the fuck are you on about now? Just play the damn game in front of you. And everything still reminds me of Skies of Arcadia. I've been feeling that since I finished Dragon Quest VIII near the start of the year. Alright, I think it was near the start. I think it was May, actually. So, like, just prior to halfway through. It was a good chunk back at any rate, and I still haven't started that playthrough. I think partially I'm just scared that it won't emulate properly, but it should do. You know, I'm not going to be running the Dreamcast version. God, no. That would not emulate properly, I'm sure. It's weird how behind the times Dreamcast emulation is. I don't know if they've even got to the point where they've got a pad working with it. When I last checked, they didn't. Right. But, yeah, so I'll be running the, uh... Yeah, the fucking GameCube version. It's a superior version, anyway. You don't get the little game with it, unfortunately. You know, the Dreamcast bit? Any of you 90s kids will remember. They were fucking brilliant. Raising Chow on those, that was great fun. Huzzah! I see you. But yeah. But yeah, other than that, GameCube version, definitely a superior game. The extra content makes it worth it. Plus, you can upscale the fucking, you know, Dreamcast, uh, GameCube version. Emulation's fucking great. Why can't I look forward? Oh, yeah, because I haven't said it there. God, that was a fucking blonde moment. There we are. Whatever. But yes, Skies of Arcadia will be on my list. Honestly, though, I'm feeling like I should probably try to push to play some more up-to-date games, because most of the more modern games I play... They generally tend to be stuff that's still connected to retro-style uh, games, like Trials of Mana, you know? It's a remake of a fucking 90s RPG, and it's great, and it counts. Counts as a modern game, but I should try to play some more up-to-date ones, if for nothing more than just my own curiosity, to be honest. Kakariko Graveyard, right, passed at night. Let's check to see if I got that motherfucker. Dodongo's Cavern. Don't make me run back there. The fuck is... I have no idea. I'll worry about that in a moment. I'll cry myself to sleep about the fact that I left there when I could have probably got that sculpture in a bit. Alright? We'll worry about that then. So, Gakariko Graveyard. No problem. But yeah, I should play Skies of Arcadia though. I'm wondering about coming up with like a schedule. You know, like a retro game, release it in the morning, or a game at night. You know, more modern ones, something like that. I don't know. And then, like, a collab game. So I love doing games with other people. And I know mostly I've just done them with my roommate. A lot of that's because of the coronavirus situation. I haven't been able to invite friends over to do stuff. You know? Fuck you, Dan P. God, I'll be glad when you're dead. It's gonna happen, mate. I've seen your future. Probably responsible for your future, but hey-ho. Right, what side? Southeast. I had to think really hard to figure out which direction that was for a minute. No, we're fine. Back to Dodongo's Cavern, although I do love it when it rains in this game. 
I've looked really hard to try to find the sound file for the rain for this game, but I'm struggling to. It's not like finding it in the OST or nothing, you know. But I would love to, because something about it, that kind of rain that I hear, as well as the fact that I recognize it as Ocarina of Times and it's nostalgic, it just, yeah. Because anyone who knows me from my Tinnitus videos knows how much I fucking love white noise, and the rain in particular. And there's a lot more reasons to it than just Tinnitus, but, yeah, I do love the rain. Too much. Right, anyway, stop rambling. Go back to rambling about what you were rambling about before. That'd be much better. I can't even remember what it was. Oh, well. That was it. Yeah, I like playing with multiple people, you know. Like, I've been doing a lot of stuff with my roommate, Jess. And she's great. She's fucking brilliant doing horror games. And we played through... I don't think I've uploaded it yet. I think I've uploaded one part of Mario Galaxy, and that was good fun. She loves Mario games. That was fun to do. And I still been meaning to get my old roommate, Dom... You know, he was like my little brother's best friend or something, that's how I met him. But yeah, we were playing Gears of War, we were having a great time doing it, and unfortunately, then I moved out, we just didn't have time to do it. And that's been, what, fucking... Somewhere between a year and a half and two years. It sucks. What the fuck am I leaving for? It's the Dongo's bloody cavern I gotta go to. For some reason, my brain went Kakiri Forest. You can tell it's been a rough few weeks for me. The stuttering seems to be gradually easing, though, as I get angrier and angrier at things. Come to the dark side, right? But yeah, I've still been meaning to finish Gears of War. I haven't uploaded a few of the parts either, so that's going to be weird. At some point, when I finally do manage to drag his ass around to finish that game, God forbid we start on the rest of the series. But yeah, that'd be weird, because then I'll just be randomly uploading like four or five parts from when I used to live at my old house, you know, my parents' place. That was back when I struggled to avoid having four or five people in a fucking room at a time and trying to record, you know? God, that was a weird one. Thank God I'm not living like that anymore. Hey. Thank God for the pandemic, that keeps the bastards out. But yeah. Uh, right, the Dongo's Cavern. We can do that. We can definitely do that. But yeah, uh, my older brother, at some point when he gets out of hospital, bless him, he's been through the ringer. You know, and he's still in there at the moment. We're not sure when he's going to leave. About three weeks ago, it might have been a month ago now, they dropped off the bed and stuff like that for him to recover in. And he's still in hospital. Bless him. They're still figuring out a couple of things. He should be alright, though. But when he comes here, we're definitely going to do some stuff. It'll be my older brother. My little brother. I worry about doing stuff with him. I would love to. Right? He's similar to me in how vulgar and boisterous he gets. Especially when we drink and we get together. But, and it would be brilliant to record some of that, because it's a great laugh, but I worry that it would be completely ineligible for any form of advertising. Because, God, we're some fucking foul-mouthed motherfuckers when we get together. He's the reason him and his friends can't stream D&D games, so yeah. It's funny, that. Right, I think this was the quickest way to wherever it was I was going. No, it's not. It's down there, isn't it? My brain's just meandering now, like stream of consciousness stuff or whatever it's called. Just happy to be playing the game. Or pretending to play, you know. While I just ramble. That's fine too. But yeah, when my brother comes here, we're definitely going to play some games. I'm just wondering which ones to do. Because I remember the last game we played properly together. Like, you know, as in me and him sat down and played a proper video game through. I think that was FF10. And we more or less treated it like a two-player game. You know, you just pick what characters you like. And did that. And that worked really well. And I've got the remake, the HD one. So we'll probably do that. But I don't know. Fuck, I did it again. But yeah, feel free to suggest games for that, guys. Because I'd love to do it. Other than that, it'd be like Master of Orion or something. But I've already done that. Well, I did a playthrough. Should do some more. I recently got another comment on it, actually. And it was like a year ago. That was quite fun. You know, it was a year ago the guy originally posted. But it's just such an engaging game. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with me and my video. It's just a fun game to chat bollocks about. But yeah. I definitely need to come up with some more game ideas when my older brother comes here. For sure. I want to start doing some online stuff as well. Like, I've got Ark Survival Evolved. Maybe I should be playing that with friends or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I'll get back to actually worrying about the gameplay for now. So, ride the tall pillar up the second floor. Head Easter room. Drop down below. Climb the stair. What the fuck? I was confused. <laughs> Giant staircase. You mean this one? Right. Push the statue, climb the staircase, switch on it. 
be back in the room. Okay, so I think I gotta go up here and then in here. I don't know. Scorch is located atop a staircase in the cubby hole. Yeah, I know that. If you go around the left side and climb the vines. I have no fucking clue what I want. You what now, mate? I is confused. What are you getting at? Boomerang or hookshot. So you knew it was an adult, or you knew it was a kid, right? I did it again. My apologies. I suck. I suck so bad. We're scum. Right. So the dong goes cavern within the room. Yeah, we know that. However, you'll have to go the long route to get this one. Oh, are you kidding? It's not like an actual thing, is it? Climb the staircase at the southwest portion of the room before returning to the main room. Yeah, okay, we fucked up. We did it, guys. I'm taking someone down with me. So I need to have not blown up that staircase. Well, maybe I do it by just leaving this room and then going back in there. You know, maybe. Being hopeful, but it could happen. Come on. Wait so I can kill you. Ah! Oh, you double teamed me, man! Right, okay. Out the fucking way. Right, I think the fact that I've already exploded the staircase means that I fuck this and I need to leave and come back in. I need to have a timeout outside and think about what I did. Alright, let's find out for sure. Whoops. I don't know. Maybe I can just fucking... No, no I can't. Yeah, I need that stood up right so I can actually reach the bastard, don't I? I don't think the boomerang goes that far. Not even close. Yeah, alright. Fuck it, we're going out then. And then I'll actually, you know, follow the walkthrough properly. No need to improvise and fuck it all up, Gray. Fine, whatever. Here we go then. But yeah, I'm curious, while I've got your guys' attention with my inane ramblings, what video games do you reckon I check? You know, should check out? Might be worth it, maybe I'll enjoy it. Maybe it'll help the channel a bit. I don't know. I don't think about that anywhere near enough as much as I should do, to be honest. Just grateful to be able to play a video game once in a while. But yeah, seriously, recommend stuff. I'm all for it, you know. If you're watching this video, you must have a bit of a retro gaming background like myself. I highly doubt YouTube has just randomly recommended these videos to you. So yeah, fork over the suggestions, people. I'll check anything out. Come on, Link. Just wait there. Right, so we literally just got to, uh, yeah, take out the second floor, head east. Yeah, just walk all the way back there. That's pretty much it. Make sure you haven't blown it up, stand on it, get far enough back, twat the guy with the boomerang, collect the corpse, and then profit. Obviously, Navi, if you fuck me up again. Good. Good fairy. Right, okay, so I know roughly what I'm doing for this one then. Drop down, you say. Drop down. I should. Yep, alright. Gotta check what the fuck's in here while I'm at it. There's probably one in here too. And yes, I remember what I said about stop improvising, but... Oh, I can't do shit with these guys anyway. I can shoot them. They won't have anything worth buying. I've already got all the pieces of heart. What are they gonna sell? I highly doubt those fuckers have been gold sculptural hunting, so... They're Fucking, they might as well be dead to me. And then, we become an adult. Well, that's more fun. Well, it's not. Just could be mildly more entertaining. Then we've got longer legs. We can run about everywhere quicker. Would save some hassle, that's for sure. There we go. Come on then, Gray. Make your way back. Good, good, good. Alright, okay. Now I just gotta do the thing. I forget that he slashes horizontal when he's not uh, Z targeting or left bumper targeting. As the case might be. There we go. Good. I'm just going to bring my mic a bit closer. There we go. Just noticing the levels look slightly lower than ideal, but they're probably fine. Right. Okay. Cool. So. Should. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Very confused. 
Oh, you motherfucker. What did they say to do? Alright, again, enough of the improvising, so. Blah, blah. Go get there. Yep, 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 yep. Unlock the door. Now you're back in the room of the giant staircase. So the sculpture is located at the top of the staircase in the cubby hole. Either go around the left side and climb the vines. Vines? The fuck are you on up? These vines? Alright. Okay. Or uh, jump off so you land on the steps themselves. Oof. Oof. Do I have to? I don't fancy my odds of that. Climb around the vines. Ah, you can just make it then. Alright, fair. I must have got this one with the hook shot in the past. Must have done. Eh, well. I'll be dead now anyway. It's fine. Cool. And there we go. Brilliant. Alright, you're done. So the next ones are gonna be an adult, which is fucking brilliant, because now I can just use my fucking bus. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Bus, you know, refers to it as like bus stops in the last part. Whatever. If you've been keeping up, you'd have known what I was referring to. That's all I'm saying. We would have all felt a lot less confused and a lot less embarrassed. Just saying. Right, okay. Temple of Time. Here we go then. Let's do our King Arthur moment. Pull that fucking sword out the. Ah, sword? Sword out the pedestal. Star ring's not quite gone, is it? It's weird. It's not quite a stutter, but I fumble my words a lot these days, I don't know why. Just sheer time spent not fucking talking to people much, I guess. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, off to Kakariko Village. Well, that's great! I can fucking use that one as well! Oh my god! It's easier being an adult. You kids today think you've got it hard, my god. And you're right, let's be fair. It is easier being an adult. Well, kind of. For Link, at least. Here we go then. Walk to the graveyard. And then, we got some hookshot to do. Ganon's Castle. Pretty sure I got that one. I'm going to comfortably skip that one. Because if I find I've got 99, I can always check that fucker later. Alright? Because, I mean, I've still got to go to Ganon's Castle and kick his ass. I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it immensely. I could really do with beating some asshole up. And again, you know, Link's probably getting more psychopathic each life he takes. I'm gradually getting more psychopathic in the real world, I'm sure. So, you know, kill two birds with one stone, just take over Hyrule. It just makes sense. Right, so. Where the fuck do we go? Alright, Can't get up there. Where was I can get? Not fucking there either. Alright, we gotta do Tenshu shit here. That's fine. I don't mind. Love that game. It was great. I was a bit disappointed I wasn't actually forced to ninja as much as I thought I would be. It was a trippy one. I just remember seeing that game when I was little. My older cousin who used to live with us, he was like 20 years older. You know, one of his mates had a PlayStation or something. And just seeing those kinds of games at six years old, it wasn't like today where you just Google everything quick. You had no fucking clue, you know what I mean? For like 20 odd years, I had no idea what the fuck that game was called, and I just really wanted to play it as well. It was weird. Right, Ganon's Castle, you're good. Kikiri Forest, alright, fine. So, I can hook shot at night. That I can. I think I'm better off going and riding a pona. Just for the fact that I can, for one. And, uh, for another thing, it'll probably be quicker than warping there, and then having to walk all the way through the woods. Again, you know, there's not enough bus stops with my teleportation powers in this game. It really ain't. Epona! Come hither. Right, make your way over to Twin's house. Oh my god. That sounds a lot sexier than it actually is. There we go, then. Link is about to be very disappointed. Alright, here we go. Come on, opponent. Or not! I was a little bit premature there. Alright, here we go. You good? Let's go. Good doggy. See, told you I'm getting psychopathic. Being deliberately demeaning to it. 
To it. See? Oh, man. It's becoming natural now. I can't switch it off. Dear, oh, dear. Worrying times. It won't matter. I'll be ruling all of Hyrule soon, anyway. I'll be as mean as I like. That'll be the least of people's problems with me. Me being just a bit mean. Right, come on, Link. Let's put all these superpowers you've accumulated to good use. Accumulated. My god. Oh, the stutteriness. Or oh, glitchiness. I swear, it's just, I feel it like glitches in my brain. Just where it's like a thing I haven't practiced enough. Just talking. It's weird. I, I can't even explain it either, but yeah, I feel it a lot. It's back when I first started YouTubing and stuff. I gradually started to get confident talking to a camera. Gradually. Started to get comfortable doing it at the very least. I don't know what it looked like to people. But yeah, and then after a few things happened in 2018, towards the end of 2017, just found myself not able to find many opportunities to go talking with people and things like that. You know, just being social in general. And yeah, like, that's when I started just like glitching my words. I feel it like a glitch in my brain. Like when you, you know, haven't played fucking guitar for ages or something. And you go to play a song and just your fingers just fumble a little. Not major, but a little bit, you know. It's trippy. So yeah, I was slightly conscious of it doing youtube -y stuff when I started trying to get back at it properly. Whenever the fuck, whichever time that was. But yeah, not so worried about it now. It's all good. Right, okay, I'm going to try to get one more and then I'm going to leave it here. So, Lost Woods. Plant, magic bean. Well, I did that, so we're good. I can fucking do that one. Yeah, the night time, the Meadow of Lost Woods. Oh fuck, not that one. It's in here. In which case, I'm gonna get it next time. Alright, I just, I don't fancy having a dick about Lost Woods trying to glitch me out. We'll leave it to next time, it'll be fine. So, thanks very much for joining me again, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the part. I'm enjoying immensely playing for you. Yeah, it's a good thing we've got going here, isn't it? Let's not break it, so make sure to join me next time. Maybe we'll enjoy it again. Catch you then. Bye.